Hello and welcome to 7 Days of Science. This week we've got some exciting dinosaur news as a stunning complete skull of the dinosaur Cynosaurus has just been described, and a new species of prehistoric beaver has been named after a convenience store. In the paleontology news this week, we first got a new paper describing a beautiful skull of the carnivorous dinosaur Cynosaurus triassicus. Cynosaurus lived during the early Jurassic and was first named back in 1940 based on fossils found in southwestern China, and is known from quite a few specimens. However, the holotype is pretty fragmentary and only parts of the skull are preserved. This newly uncovered fossil though is just spectacular. It comprises a complete skull with a mandible attached and 11 neck vertebrae. The paper describing the fossil is therefore able to provide a lot of new information about the cranial anatomy of this dinosaur, which is significant considering that Cynosaurus was quite an early diverging member of the theropod dinosaur lineage, being an early neotheropod, like the more famous Dilophosaurus, and also sharing with it the distinct crest running along the top of its skull. So a fantastic discovery there then. Also in the news is the publication of a new species of prehistoric beaver from Texas. Dating back to the Miocene epoch around 15 million years ago, a new paper reports on several different species of beavers found in the Texas coastal plain, where beaver fossils have previously been quite sparse. Some of these specimens were actually recognised to be a new species, and have been named Anchitheriomys buckii, the species name being in honour of Bucky's, a chain of convenience stores in the US with a beaver as its mascot. This prehistoric beaver was actually quite a bit bigger than modern beavers, and it would have lived alongside ancient horses, elephants, rhinos, and bone-crushing dogs. Many of these significant fossils had actually been in museum collections for years, once again showing the importance of museums and how amazing discoveries such as this can be made just by searching through old fossil collections. Well, that's it for the news this week. I hope you enjoyed hearing about these amazing paleontological developments, and we'll see you next week.